King Haile Selassie I, originally named Tafari Makonan, was born on July 23, 1892, in the Ethiopian city of Hara. He was the son of Ras Makonan, a prominent Ethiopian nobleman and general, and his wife, Yeshimabet Ali Abba Jifar. Tafari was the youngest of ten children, and his mother died when he was only five years old. Tafari was educated by his father and other family members, learning about Ethiopian history, religion, and culture. He also received a modern education, studying mathematics, science, and languages. In 1905, he was appointed governor of the Hara province by Emperor Menelik II, and he served in various government positions throughout his youth. In 1916, Tavari was appointed regent and heir to the throne by Empress Zudachu, the daughter of Menelik II. When Zudachu died in 1930, Tavari was crowned Emperor Haile Selassie I, the 225th monarch, in the Solomonic dynasty, which traced its origins back to the biblical king Solomon and the queen of Sheba. As emperor, Haile Selassie I embarked on a program of modernization and reform, seeking to modernize Ethiopia's economy and society while preserving its ancient culture and traditions. He implemented a new constitution, established a system of courts and schools, and expanded the country's infrastructure. Haile Selassie I also played a prominent role in international affairs, advocating for Ethiopian independence and African unity. He was a founding member of the United Nations and the Organization of African Unity, and he served as the chair of the latter organization from 1963 to 1964. Despite his reforms and international stature, Haile Selassie I faced challenges at home, particularly from Ethiopia's diverse ethnic and religious groups. In 1974, a military coup led by Mengistu Haile Mariam overthrew the emperor and established a socialist government. Haile Selassie I was placed under house arrest and died in unclear circumstances in 1975. Haile Selassie I is widely regarded as a symbol of Ethiopian pride and African liberation. He was a key figure in the Pan-African movement, and inspired the Rastafarian religion, which sees him as a messiah and divine being. His legacy continues to be debated and celebrated in Ethiopia and around the world.